Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at the Teradek RT Fizz system, or Focus Iris Zoom, and why you would want one. A couple of months ago, I did a one take for a short film um, where we used a remote follow focus. What would have been great is to have control of other parts of the camera as well because it was really difficult to light the whole scene at the same level. It would have been really great to pull iris in the same way that we pulled focus to say nothing about zoom. Well, these systems do exist. They're called fizz systems, focus, iris, and zoom. And they're basically just three motors instead of one that sit on 15 millimeter rails in front of your lens and you have a controller or controllers that let you do just that. The one I got my hands on is called the Teradek RT. Thank you for Teradek for making this available. And it is a big brother to the last Teradek system that I looked at, which was a single um, motor control. To test this guy out, I wanted to put my own spin of one of the most famous shots in all of cinema, the opening scene in Touch of Evil. This is a three and a half minute single take where the camera travels through the streets of a border town and is one of the most suspenseful shots um, ever filmed. I got together a bunch of actors and we found a really wonderful location. Decided to go ahead and put our own spin on this. I'll put clips um, from the shot throughout this review and I'll put the shot in its entirety at the end. So the system works like this. You have a single small box called the MDRX. This is mounted to the camera and powered by the V-mount attached to the camera. This then connects to the motors either directly or via daisy chain and it, it receives commands from a controller and sends them to the motors as well as powering each individual motor. There are a couple of different variations of the MDR. Depending on the camera you have, it can also do other camera functions apart from the lens. It can trigger record. Um, there's a system for the RED that lets you actually have a lot of control over the camera and its functions and its settings. It attached to the side of my C200 cage with a single screw and didn't really get in the way. Um, it's about the size of a box of matches. The MDRX then communicates wirelessly with a controller, the Teradek RT. Right, you can see here. Now this has six different um, axes of control. It has a focus knob. It has a joystick that works in both X and Y. It has a slider um, where you can mark or get a pre-made iris board. And it has these two smaller thumb dials on the side. Once you have set up um, your MDRX and linked it with a controller and attached the motors to your lens, you're then able to link any of the three motors to any of the six controls. And yes, it does take a little bit of practice to get up for speed if you're just used to pulling focus and now you're suddenly doing zoom and iris as well. Uh, but you're not manipulating those controls nearly as much as you're moving the focus. This sort of happened at different parts of the scene that you've planned. And yes, there was a part in the scene where we did all three at the same time. Ariane, who was the DP on this, had only ever pulled um, focus before. He'd never worked on a fizz system. And by take three or four, you know, he really had it down. There are three main ways to uh, monitor focus on a system like this. First, you can put on peaking on the monitor and just see what pops up bright red is going to be in focus. The second way is to use one of the included focus rings. You pick out the one that uh, matches your lens, um, slide it over the top of the focus knob, and now you have um, set markings for your focus marks. The third and most interesting way is to map the lens into the system. You're able to um, preset marks on the lens into the controller. Uh, if you do up to six of them, it will extrapolate the rest of the marks and they'll appear on the controller screen as you move the focus knob. The exciting thing about this is if you're using a compatible small HD monitor, you can actually connect your controller to a compatible small HD monitor and have the focus marks show up as overlays on the side of the monitor. This is what we did and the huge advantage is that you're able to keep your eyes on the screen as you're pulling focus. So you can also judge exposure for the iris and you can also judge the image for the zoom. This is sort of like a heads up display um, for focus pullers. I don't think we could have pulled off the shot we pulled off without it. The Teradek RT also has an app where you can load in and store um, different lens maps. You can store over a hundred on the system um, and you could just load in the ones that you want for a particular lens set that you're using that day or if you're um, renting this out with um, a matched camera and lenses you can just 
put them in so that they're all there and you go to set knowing that everything's set up the way you want it. I designed this shot with the Teradek RT in mind. I wanted to start zoomed in um, on a dark area and then follow um, a package as it goes into a bright area. So we're zooming out as we're um, stopping down the lens as we're changing focus. So we follow our hero into this amazing hot rod workshop. Camera keeps circling. We get to see um, all of this stuff. Uh, we're, we're zooming in and zooming out at certain times, but we're doing it in a way that the zoom is sort of hidden in the movement of the camera. So it's not as conspicuous and it doesn't draw that much attention to itself. Choreographing a shot like this was a real challenge. You have lots of moving parts. It's not just the um, field of view of the lens and the lighting that you have to um, take into account. It's also where you're actually going to stand as the um, focus puller and me as the director. You know, when the camera is orbiting 360 degrees, there's nowhere safe that's not going to be in shot at some point in time. So it takes a lot of coordination kind of running around behind um, the operator to try and find a spot that's not going to um, be on camera in the next couple of seconds. Using this system, we were able to get a wide variety of shots and actually we got the whole thing in about two hours. Um, it ended up being a two and a half minute Steadicam shot. To shoot coverage on this and shoot a variety of shots and light each one and block each one would have taken probably the whole day. So um, even though we're adding different levels of complexity to the camera, we're also reducing the amount of time to shoot and basically, um, sort of concertinering all our shots into one shot actually makes it quicker. And you don't have any continuity issues because you're shooting the whole thing in one take. I was actually kind of shocked how plug and play this system is for something that does have so many moving parts. We shot on the Sigma 18 to 35 lens, uh, which is a rehoused version of the Sigma art lens. Um, but this one has gears on it. It has a much wider um, focus radius. One thing that we ran into that we didn't expect was actually having to make the camera heavier. Like we put on a matte box, we put on a bigger battery um, because on a Steadicam system, it's very much unlike a gimbal system. We actually want more weight to stop the camera floating around too much. So who is this system for? If you're wanting to do complex compound one take shots, uh, of course, this system is actually going to be a total lifesaver. This is also really essential if you're going to put the camera on the end of a crane or somewhere inaccessible. Um, where you don't have an operator next to the camera and it's difficult to bring the camera back down to you know, zoom out or change the iris. Having a fizz system lets you have total control of the lens and the exposure and the focus while still being hundreds of feet away. Paired with a Teradek um, Bolt 500, we were able to see a crystal clear image almost a block from where we were shooting, uh, even though there were walls and all kinds of things in the way. If you're a first AC who is already owns a um, follow focus kit and you want to upgrade to something that gives you more potential, especially if this is something you're going to rent to production, the Teradek RT is probably going to be a good investment. Um, the fact that it has the small HD overlays and is only going to add more functionality as time goes on uh, makes this a really good way to get your foot in the door with a professional Fizz system. That's my look at the Teradek RT. Uh, without further ado, here is our one take touch of evil homage. Interceptor. What do you uh what do you got going on in uh 
Maybe they all run the police for it. Let me worry about that. Hey, uh, can you hear that ticking sound? I think so. Hey, deliver you guys out front. Do you have any packages? Uh, yes, the one on the bench. Cool. I think it stopped. Shit. She took the package I just picked up. Is that what was ticking? Where's the package?